Hello, this is a short video that will introduce you to the Tagzido website. It's very similar to the Wordle website which lets you create word clouds. So if we go to tagzido.com and then you want to click on create and in here then the first button to press on is the load button and you get two choices you can enter a web page or enter some text of your own so I'm going to show the web page first if I copy the web address go to the load button again and paste the web address and submit and then the words in the picture will change to the words that were on the web page and each word is there proportionally to how often it appeared on the web page so words that were there a lot are bigger so comments was obviously on that page quite a lot whereas evaluations was on there not so much or alternatively you can load in some text so this is a scheme of work and I want to give students an overview of what's coming up so I've copied all of that using control A and then control C for copy back to this page again loading in here using control and V to paste and there's reminders down here and if I submit that then it's going to change to all of the words that were in the scheme of work and because it's about data handling words like probability and data and graphs come up bigger than some of the other words after this you probably want to play around with the shapes and clicking on this arrow gives you lots of choices um, obviously we love math so we'll use a heart shape and that will change the picture into a heart when it's done that you might want to consider using this button here which highlights the outline of the shape depends how many words you've got and what theme you're using as to whether that looks good or not so I'll take that off again other things to play around with are the theme um, I quite like this autumn theme which is black with lots of pretty colors you can change the font too um, can't say I have a favorite here but let's try this one and it will think about that and do it for me and the other main thing to change or think about changing is orientation um, at the moment it's set up on any orientation so they can be in all directions that can make it difficult to read or more interesting depending on your viewpoint horizontal and vertical are pretty obvious and HV is a mixture of just horizontal and just vertical there's a, a few more things that you might like to try once you've picked your theme and your colors in the direction of your text um, if you want to keep the same theme but just change the color of some of the letters then clicking this color will just re-scramble the colors without changing any of the words if you want to keep all of the same themes but just move around where the words actually are then clicking on layout here uh, re-spins it as it calls it and you'll have all the same words same picture, same theme, same colors, same font, but just in a different arrangement. Um, if you want to take potluck, then you can go for all, and it will just pick a new everything for you. The other major use that um, Tagzido has, once you've found your shape and everything and you're happy with it, then you have a lot of saving options. You can save small images or larger images, and you get a couple of choices about what format to use as well. OK, hope that helps. Enjoy it and play around.